Hey everybody, Guanyu15 back again. Uh, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about some of the endgame crises that you can run into in Stellaris. Um, just a quick update of the galaxy. If you've been, if you've been following along, you'll see that uh, we're the Federation United Species down here. We've kind of been consolidating, moving all about. Um, we went ahead and it kind of took over this little area over here, whoever they were. Um, and then the Ugo Practic Dictorate are our vassals. You can kind of see that's why they're bluish over here. Um, so that's our little empire. And these guys, the Uridi Manufacturing, are in our federation. And they have vassalized the Kagasi Kalamagrit and the Tredklek Union. So basically, we got this entire bottom half that's all in one big alliance. Almost an entire half of the galaxy, actually. Um, the Zandyar Syndicates are not included with us. I'd like to, but they got their own thing going on. They're in a, in a federation with um, the Shrek Principality over here. And the uh, Tarasi Confederation, which is over here. So basically, we got like this bottom half in one uh, federation. These guys kind of in the middle on the right on another federation. And then this whole Olorian trade commission is kind of by themselves. They got some small little alliances. So it's kind of like a three-pronged map. Um, now, if we, we can actually change to our, our diplomatic map mode and click on ourselves. You notice that these guys, they like us. We're friends. I mean, we're not pissed at each other or anything. They're bluish. Bluish is... Uh, means that they're a little bit happier with you and they're not they're not angry at us for any particular reason whatsoever. Uh, let's go back to the Empire map mode. Now, thrown into a wrench of all this is two things. First of all, if you remember, we got these uh, the Tyrol Chronicles down here who are just basically, they're a little bit mad at us, but not too bad. Um, they're actually mad at us because we're pursuing AI and robotics, which they do not like. Uh, they're a stagnant ascendancy. Uh, remember, because they just kind of want to gather knowledge and sit there and do their own thing. We ignore them. We kind of colonized around them, and they haven't had a problem with us. That being said, you'll notice that this little place right here, the Chitin Zealots, um, seems like such a small thing. They got like four or five systems. They are now an awakened empire, awakened ascendancy. They used to be a stagnant ascendancy. One of the kind of uh, end game things that happens uh, when it's so to keep the game moving, keep it from getting stagnant, is that these ascendancies can awaken, in which case they get angry and they try to enforce, do whatever their doctrine says. So these guys happen to be fanatic spiritualists. And, and what seems, it seems souls are your, uh, okay. So what they want to do is they want to basically make all of us uh, spiritualists. They want to go around uh, spiritualizing the whole world or the whole galaxy, making everybody know what, what amazing spiritualists are and changing our ethos and doing a bunch of other crap. They offered us, uh, when they awakened, they offered us the ability to become one of their, what do they call it? Dominions. Uh, as a dominion, we have to pay 25% of our energy and minerals to them, uh, which, quite frankly, is not something we want to do. And who would, why would you want to? I mean, it's uh, if we have to, we will, but I'd rather fight first if we can. So they mad at us. You can see, refuse subjugate, subjugation is minus 198 in their opinion. They're mad. It's only a time, only a matter of time before they declare war. war. It, seems, it seems your souls, your species cannot be saved peacefully. We have no choice but to bring you, you know, bring war to your world. So eventually, they're going to attack us. Now, these guys are strong. Uh, if we take a look at them, they have seven planets and 69 population. But if we look at their relative power, our fleet power is equivalent compared to theirs, which means we have about the same number of ships, hopefully. But their technology level is overwhelming. So. I don't like the way this is going to go. I honestly think we're going to go up here and we're going to find out that they're just ridiculously overpowered and kick our ass. Um, but we're going to try. We got uh, our alliance here to help out. And we got our, our, our vassals here to help out. What you're going to see actually is you're going to see that the AI does a really good job of merging kind of their fleets with yours to try to take on one big, massing their fleets uh, to take on one big fight. Uh, Wolf 359 uh, approach, you know. Massing your feet for your fleet named Stellas. So we're going to take our fleets. We got our grand fleet sitting over here. We're going to head on up to our mustering point. Let's pick. Uh, we don't want to be too close, but let's pick, uh, like, I don't know, Brock. Brekhog. Because maybe that way the Yuri, Yuri and the Yuko can get their, their troops here. So we're going to go to Brekhog. Uh, can you take a look at our energy? It's plus 458, so we're doing good. That's because everybody's in orbit. And we're going to take our other, our other fleet. 
or two minor fleets. These minor fleets are just basically fleets that happened when we integrated our vassals. So I may have told you that I, I vassalized a few, few uh, nations, or yeah, nations. We vassalized a group in here, and we vassalized a group down here, and eventually we just integrated them. Um, you can integrate them into your population, in which case they just become a, a, an annoying member of your population. So if I turn on the sector map mode, you'll see these guys right here were once they're Grok Nepalan. Uh, if we take a look at the Grok Nepalan world, right here. Uh, that's all these people. These Mekt Puk. Grok Nepalans. Grok Nepalans. A lot of Grok, Grok Nepalans. Uh, when you integrate them, they're not angry at you, which is kind of nice. So we really don't have to worry too much about our, our happiness. Everyone's pretty much doing their own thing. I would love to build more ships. Try to take on these chits and zealots, but as you can see, our uh, fleet power, naval capacity, is at max. And one of the reasons that it's at max is because we're part of this federation. And when you join a federation, you give some of your 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 naval capacity away to the federation in order to um, be able to make federation fleets. Um, see, it looks like the Uri Manufacturing is currently the president, so they can make fleets. They've made a few small ones. It looks like 1,300 in relative power, not much. Uh, so when, it, when we become the president, it kind of rotates, then we'll be able to build a butt, butt, buttload more fleets. But we really can't wait for that because I think these chip dudes are going to start attacking. They're just going to grow stronger over time and bad things are going to happen. Now, one of the neat things about joining a federation is it gives you access to both sides of like all the technology in, in, anybody, in either party of the federation has or any party of the federation has. So there's this federation ship designer. You can actually go in and design new ships based on the federation schematics of and technologies of everybody in your federation. Uh, I can't really show you because I'm not the federation president. I can't design any ships, but um, basically what it looked like is when we go to our ship designer, we could make a new one, new design, uh, make a cruiser, and it would let us pick anything from... Uh, I think oh yeah. uh, it would let us pick anything that we even haven't uh, researched yet because we'd be part of that federation. So if there's stuff in here that, uh, excuse me, that we normally wouldn't have access to, we would. In fact, we just got the Giga Cannon too. Who's got our Giga Cannon? What ship has our Giga Cannon? Uh, I think it's the Galaxy Class. Let's check. Galaxy Class has the Mega Cannon. Omega Class has the Particle Lance. So who's got the Giga Cannon? Nobody? Average depth 20.2, average depth 22.2, the Giga Cannon is 27, I like that. Oh, okay, Giga Cannon is the upgrade of the Mega Cannon, <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, how much power does it take? 120 power, so I'm going to be low if I upgrade these. Uh, how can we do this? Well, let's do this. Let's upgrade our Giga Cannon. And let's take away some, uh, I guess, the shield capacitors. I like having extra shield capacitors, but that's okay. We'll go ahead and put on some extra crystal infused, crystal infused plating, give us some more hit points, and we'll save that there. And before my ships move, let's upgrade them. The ones that need upgrading, that is. No, they don't need upgrading. So, what's going on here? War declaration. Okay. The chicken zealots, see, they start to just go after everybody. Have declared war on the Tyrell Conf Tarasi Confederation right there. This is good for us. Um, this means that hopefully this whoever cor what correlate co what confederation are they in? Uh, Shrek Prince Alexander Syndicates and Titan Star Corp. So hopefully they've all declared war. Let's take a look. Uh, it doesn't look like it though. <laughs> Looks like they're like fuck you you're on your own. These guys are strong for 5%. Uh, these guys can now go ahead and Merge into what we like to call the Grand Fleet. 164.6 thousand. Make sure he's our best admiral. We got fire rate, upkeep, and weapons range. Uh, and we got weapons range. Yeah, he's good. Oh, wait. No, this is the guy that's currently under weapons range, upkeep, and combat speed, merge detail damage. I think I'm going to take this guy. Wow. Put him in charge. Admiral DeCarrion. Uh, nothing here, so let's click on them. Hit, sorry buddy, we gotta declare war on you. Uh, these are our war demands. I'm gonna go ahead and move my picture out of the way so you guys can see a little better. 
What do we want? Uh, let's confirm that. I don't know, I've got a bad feeling about this. War has been declared. So, let's see here. Uh, the response is that they, we want that crap. They don't have their demand set up yet. Okay, let's keep looking at them. Again, we're equivalent, so let's hope for the best. Send our scout ship in first. And we'll go. Come on, let's not just get destroyed. <laughs> Alright, we see a small fleet. Most of their fleet, I'm assuming, is going to be kind of over on dealing with these guys since they're fighting over here. What is this? The Quantum Trade Commission has stopped. Oh, okay, I don't care about that. And they set up there. Oh, yeah, they set up their demands. <laughs> their demands basically say cede everything to us. So if we don't win this, we're kind of screwed. Um, let's move this guy back to here. He's going to do research projects as we blow up some other. where they're at. Why is it telling us where we lost the mining station? Yeah, there's a mining station in here. Uh oh. Oh crap. <laughs> See this is what I mean. They didn't have to <laughs> oh, shit. They didn't have to follow the uh its warp lane, so they just kinda got behind me. It is only 168,000, which means we're close. So let's get our troops, let's finish this fight and get back home. Bastards backdoored us. Oh, they're heading back home though. Looks like they're coming to fight us, which is awesome, so we can keep building up our, our ships. They're like, hey, you can't fight our guys. It also means that they're happy to be coming at us. <laughs> what is that fight? Here they come. <laughs> God damn, they move fast. Holy shit. They move so fast. They moved to Riyadh? Where's that? Oh, Jesus, they jumped like, oh my god, they're gonna be here in one turn. 168,000. Could you guys please get like a ship, your ships over to me? I think their technology is gonna screw us. And we don't actually have the uh, tradition. I should have taken it. I should have taken the uh, Galactic, what is it, the Defender of the Galaxy, or is it Galactic Contender? Galactic Contender, damage to Fallen Empires, damage to Awakened Empires, plus 33%. But we are nowhere near getting another one. Although there is a technology that we we're close to researching that gives us another perk, which is cool. Okay, I'm gonna get the hell out of here. See if people want to get over and join us. Come on, fleets. Get over and help me out. Ooh, look at that. That's good. That's even a predictive algorithms. So, like I said, the more technology advanced the group is, the more you're going to get from analyzing the debris. And this was just... Oh, there they are. 33,000. Yes, we need you. Um, oh, sorry. Was done. This was just a really small skirmish. Uh, we got 10% to plasma cannons, 10% to predictive algorithms, 10% to neurotrinium materials, and some other stuff. So if we can get a, a big combat done, like a big fight and win, we can seriously increase our, uh, increase our, uh, what do you call it, our technology real quick. It takes, jump, jumps ahead a bit. I don't want these guys to intercept the small, oh, here they come, boys, look at them come. 10,000 there, 30,000 there. We just gotta get there. Where are you guys going? No, 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 get your ass over here. Oh, wow. I didn't want to fight them. Hopefully they're coming right to me. Hopefully. Because in the past, what's happened is they'll all kind of mass with you. We just got our sh I wonder if that's retroactive, if we just got 5% increase. That could be the difference. 
Probably not, though. Um, Neutronium Armor. That's what we just unlocked because uh, we, re we found some debris, which is nice, but uh, I have a feeling if we can win, we're going to get a bunch more of this, so I'm going to hold off on it. 143,000, good lord. Uh, let's take Whirlwind Missiles. Whirlwind Missiles. Yes, come here, fleet. Good word. We can only get stronger if we mass. Ooh, they just jumped to there. Crap. They're going to intercept a bunch of it. Let's see if we can get out of there. Let's see if we can get our troops over to help out. Where are you guys going? Moving the bull up. Where the fuck are you going? Bullyai. Oh, bullyai. Where are you guys going? I don't even see Voyer, do you? Alright. I wish I knew where these guys were going. Come here, Mass, merge with me. Mass, we must fight together. It's our only way. Oh, they're in combat. <laughs> yeah, they're fighting. Let's get out, let's move our guys too then. Unfortunately, I think this... Oh, this is a transport fleet that got intercepted. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, here they go. God damn, I wish we were there now. How long we got? One day. Jump in. Let's go, boys. Let's give them hell. I, I, I think that they're... <laughs> they launch off quickly. This fleet's going to get decimated. Woo! Come on, guys. Take it to them. Oh, that's our transport fleet there, too? No. Oh, we're gonna... <laughs> oh my god, I don't know what that was, but we're... It, it looks that scary. Oh, they got like a super titan. They got titan eternal class. Holy shit. Uh, are these like fighters? Oh yeah, <laughs> that's a lot of fighters coming in. <laughs> We're meeting our fighters. Yeah, our fighters look cool though. Come on, guys, let's win. I think that we're like because we came in at like a side. We're uh, kind of weirded out here. We're kind of skewed. So our Corvettes are supposed to be first, but they're kind of going in a weird direction. What's going on? What was that? Ooh, what did we get there? Armor plus 20% is the Neutrinium Ore. Do we have Neutrinium Ore currently? Jump drives, yeah! Then we don't have to worry about star lanes anymore. Neutrinium Ore. So we can take a look here. Neutrinium Ore, we do have two of them. So I wonder if that, again, I wonder if that retroactively just gives us 20%. Uh, we don't seem to be even touching them yet, so. Come on, guys. We must fight. Oh no, science officer became paranoid. <laughs> He's probably in the middle of this combat going, what the fuck, what the fuck, what the fuck? Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, have we dented them yet? Yeah, they were 168, now they're 163. Of course, we were 168 or 30. Oh, boy, this is not looking great. Keep fighting, guys. Keep fighting. We can win. I'm going to build some more ships, despite the fact that I'm way over my limit. I kind of want some more carriers too. Okay. Yeah, I'm out of the minerals. Yeah, their fleet is <laughs> falling quickly and we're not doing enough to them. Well, maybe our bombers will get there now. Go get them, bombers. 15,000, they're about to turn their, everything on us too, aren't they? Ugh. Are these this? Oh, those are their battleships. Okay. Alright. Oh, that was a very good debris. Look our science ship. Oh, he's still over there. Oh, he's looking at debris. Yeah, I don't think we're winning this. We were at like basically 200,000 with our group, but now they're turning on us. Maybe if we take a bunch out though, <laughs> they'll be like, alright, let's have peace. 
Big Marshits are really good at close quarters. Just their stupid technology is so high. So I think we're gonna do a bunch of damage, but I don't think we're winning. But look at that! Yay! Our naval capacity is way up there now. So let's just keep making <laughs> ships. Oh, we're out of minerals so. <laughs> though. Maybe we'll start the snowball if we can get them down low enough. And they are under a hundred thousand now. It's pretty freaking sexy. Uh, I think we might be winning. Are we winning? Oof. Oh boy, I, I think we got these sons of bitches. I think our allies came through. What, is this that Titan? Yeah, I want to take down this fucking Titan. Blow up, you son of a bitch. Yeah. Woo! Victory! Honestly, I, I thought we were done. <laughs> I thought we were done there. Um, I was pretty sure that they, and they, they're gonna start rebuilding, but that was their main fleet, so I think we can keep them kind of on lockdown now. Uh, I think if it wasn't for our allies joining the fight, we would have been just boned, completely utterly boned. Let's see how in combat goes, or ground combat goes here. And our army's there, where's our science ship? Take a look. They're landing. Bunch of ravenous hordes of crap. Uh, actually, they are, their ground forces are weak as fuck. They must not put any technology into that. Yeah, sweet. Good deal. Um, okay, that's us. Good. Let's move over and... Uh, Take out Chilub. That's right, we're landing troops on their, your home world. Usul. So our victory, our, our war score is at 31%. When we take over their home world, it should jump way up, I'm guessing. Yeah, up to 59. Nice. We are at 80%. I don't know if these guys surrender at 100 or if we can enforce their... I think we can enforce our, our demands at 100, actually. But I'm not positive. There we go. Yes, you sons of bitches! The war is over. We admit defeat. Yeah! Take a look at the best possible outcome. End of the Chitin Zealots. The ancient precursor state of the Chitin Zealots has met its final demise at the hands of all its enemies. With the fall of this once great empire will mean for galactic politics remains to be unseen. Maybe. It, mean, it means that we're not going to have to fucking submit to their douchebaggery. Uh, and it means that we have a bunch of new sits, a bunch of new uh, worlds to, to colonize them. So. These guys are still here, yeah. I'm surprised they don't like kill themselves off. <laughs> like we're we're ancients. We fuck you. We're leaving. Uh, that's our victory right there. It just basically tells us they were good, they did everything for us. Um, there are as well an Arctic, uh, continental, and a desert, an arid world in here, which we can go ahead and uh, and one's being this one's being terraformed to Gaia. That's cool. Is it still being terraformed to Gaia? The desert world. Yeah, it's in progress. So I think that stays going. It's kind of neat. Uh, they did that, not me. And this is nice because it, I mean, it's 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 adjacent to all our stuff too. So it's like a natural extension. Once we we're gonna integrate these guys once we hit a thousand influence, um, and then we'll just be great. And I'm a little less worried about the super endgame stuff. There are a number of other endgame stuff that can happen. Uh, beams come from other dimensions, and I've never never encountered them. I don't know how tough they are. Uh, I think there's like a, a beast that awakens or something like that and roams around the galaxy eating shit until they take care of it. Um, I'm not as concerned anymore because I know that we can take care of it, uh, hopefully. And look at this shit right here. <laughs> 
Their naval capacity is inferior. Their fleet power is pathetic compared to us. I kind of want to take them over. <laughs> uh, I mean, they've been kind of... They've been dicks. They were nice. Actually, what, remember what started is that these guys were like, Hey, you got a really cool scientist. You should totally give him to us. And we're like, but that's our best scientist. And they said, give him to us. And it was such an early point in the game we had to, so we lost a level 5 scientist. So these guys might be next on the chopping block. And then we can kind of eat their lands, too. But that's for another time. Uh, for now, that's uh, Fallen Empires when they awaken. Uh, fallen, yeah, there is Fallen Empires. Like, that's not just a magic thing. We got, uh, I'm sorry, stagnant or empires, not fallen empires. Once they awaken, um, I'm pretty sure we're we're closing in on, on a pretty good victory condition here because we got most of the galaxy kind of subjugated, ready to go. And I think if we can get a few more into our federation, that'll just be like a diplomatic win. Uh, that's it. Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it.